So it is currently 6 a.m. and I have arrived in Milan and my current mood is devastated because A. Milan is not warm. Two, my laundry pod busted. So all my dirty laundry are now soapy. And the worst of all is that my camera out of nowhere died. I just can't turn it on anymore. But I think my first stop in Milan is Canon Italiano. I'm excited. So right after my exchange in Rotterdam, I set off for a two-week trip in Europe across Munich, Milan, Vienna, Budapest, Prague, and Berlin. Having some amazing time as my last adventure on this continent. And this is my second stop, Milan. So, today is Boxing Day and I'm here at my second stop of my European travels. So behind me is the Milan Cathedral. I was actually here this morning during my very uneventful, eventful start of the journey. So this, um, this is the Milan Cathedral and uh, I just did the most iconic thing here in Milan. Just why don't you? I was told there was a micro switch somewhere here. Goes into this. And this play with this. Holy fuck! And in the end, everything was solved, and it's not as bad. So, yeah, I guess we can walk around now. This is my first real pasta. That was so good. Like, because back there in the restaurant, there were a lot of people around me, so I can't act like, woohoo! I was holding and I was internally screaming. That was the best I've ever tasted. Like, now I understand why all my Italian friends always bitch about everything when they get to a piano or something. It was legit. Yeah, I'm again. I feel like my whole mentality of saving money had like been thrown out the window the moment I stepped into Milan. Like all the money I saved from eating energy bar for dinner and lunch back in Munich is like spent here within the first five hours or something. I actually should add like a money counter every time I spend money that like adds a theme to the videos and be like, oh I spent money again. Now I'm at 350. That that be the song. <laughs> So this is day two in Italy and today I'm out of Milano and then in the city of Como and beside me is the lake of Como and look at that. Yeah, the lake is gorgeous, wasn't it? And again, it's a bright sunny day so I'm super happy. I miss the sun so much after two horrendous days in Munich. But, oh shit, look at that. You can always get freaked out. I always get freaked out by the swan necks because I think they look like like insects that could bend. Like, what the fuck? Ugh. to the boat to see the lake from the water and today I'm actually a bit underdressed I never expect this to be as cold but anyways I will survive <laughs> Like having a really good view, eating for me in Italy seems to be a recurring theme, so I'm happy. So 
So we took the cable car up to the top of the mountains and the view is not what I expected. I mean, you can even see the Alps here. See that? That's crazy. <laughs> Today is my last day here in Italy and this morning I woke up early and then packed all my stuff which is my least favorite part of any travels. Yeah, and last night I had a very unexpected guest. <laughs> this is Matt, this is my roommate from Hong Kong. We never meant to meet here in Milan, but somehow we end up here together. <laughs> Welcome to Europe! <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, seeing people from Hong Kong is like reminding me the fact that I'm actually going home like super soon. I, I think it's actually sinking in and I'm pretty ready to go home. Oh, and there's also one more thing that he taught me, which is if you wandered far enough, you can actually find cheap food here even in Milan. Like look at this. 9 euro 90 with one of these one of these one of these and like coffee that was crazy good should i have it but it's not pasta though i actually think i should have it let me have that <laughs> Like even though it's not like pasta or pizza here in Italy, the food is still like really good. With me only having a few hours left here in Italy, I would like to say that it really blew me away. I really love this place and I would definitely come back because the food was good, the streets were good, nature was stunning as well. And to be honest, this is somewhere that I would definitely be back. So I'll wrap this up by catching a glimpse of Milan from on top of the Dumos and yeah, see you in Vienna.